What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. And to pick off where we left off, we have a chance to intercept this rear force behind Ardabil, which means we draw in the garrison and their supporting army in a defensive battle, so hopefully we should be able to do some good amount of damage to them, push them away, and take the next city on our push into the Middle East. So then hopefully we can get some uh, more... Uh, more armies to bear on the Ottomans, widen the front, and cause them to spread out the troops they're sending towards Baghdad. We are luring them into uh, either a city, assault, or bridge battles, which we have also fought previously, which were quite fun. Um, but now we have to press home our attack, both in the Middle East and in Europe, really. Um, right, okay, so... Let's trundle a set of guns up onto the top of this hill. Let's take three units of Indian mercenaries in the centre. Hmm. Unless I... Okay, let's take two guns, two sets of guns over on the left. If, I, if everyone moves diagonally and these guys go over to here, I might be able to get another set of guns there in the, before the tree line. So let's group those units there. Let's add a formation on the left. Formation to, well, on the right, sorry. A formation of guard, a formation of troops including our guards on the right. Some Gurkhas behind our guns. Okay, mix up our heavy and light on one flank. Light on the other. General in the center. Gunners sit back here firing quick climb. Oh, okay. Very well. You face that way. You face that way. It's kind of spread out our troops before we so we can identify where we need to focus our effort just put a gun team in the middle so one of you plus this unit take position like so Okay, so we've got a number of units to worry about. So let's try, well yeah, so try focus on a defensive line everywhere. Let's get our cavalry over here to destroy the desert warriors. You guys up on this ridge can position there. Let's get some more infantry out on the flank. The howitzers. Okay, these guys aren't the reinforcements. They were mostly. Kisobashi, that's probably them over there. Okay. So this is a danger here. With those camel nomads. So the cavalry's destroying them. Let's keep our cavalry split up on either flank. You guys on limber. I could probably even grab you all like that. I hear charging noises. I've got my Gurkhas. So we're going to start to volley, pour fire into the Camel Nomads. Our, cow, our, our howitzers are going to start to be not quite so useful against the left hand army.
which is not going to be so useful against quite a number of these units. Okay, there we go, that's the camels dealt with. Keep the blasting round shot into the Thelene. They're slightly out of range, but they won't be for long. Desert Warriors have returned. So you troops get ready to pour fire into the enemy cavalry. Let's get these Indian mercenaries over for support. You charge into these desert warriors. Okay, that's some infantry routed. Let's engage the next infantry unit. You guys might be better placed up, right up on the flank here. Actually, no, they're wavering for a second there. Charge this cavalry unit in to try and attack the general. You attack that cavalry unit. You guys attack. Ooh, another cavalry unit's coming in. Okay, wait until my unit goes green. My gun unit goes green. Nope, doesn't matter. The quick response Gurkhas were enough. So let's pivot you guys slightly. So let's attack and kill the general's bodyguard. Let's stretch you guys a bit to the left. It's furthest tower to focus fire the ninth. You guys just quick climb whoever you can behind the right behind the formation. So we've still got two guns. It's a general unit killed. So we do still have Levy coming straight in. Get my Cassier on the flank. So let's charge the horsemen of this cavalry, because they are quite dangerous if you let them do what they like. Getting some more shots into the or bashing musketeers and they've been drawn into combat. So you men blast the levy because you need to push them back. You guys actually focus on the Kizzle Basher to the rear. Make sure this unit is in square on the flank. Attack the musketeers because they're necessary to be killed. Charge the horse guards into the camel nomads so this unit can get back into line and engage the enemy. Cuirassiers are great against camels because they're heavily armoured and they don't spook as easily. Oh, run, 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 run! No, I was aware I was attacking them, but... Okay, the Camel Nomads might break. Cornings and Mercenaries, make ready. Aim. Fire! Fire at will on. My cavalry are routing on the left, that's okay. You guys focus on the levy. Okay, so whoever these guys were, I think they've been defeated. On this flank, anyway. So let's take you guys. 
run away from that Kizilbashi because they're about to just shoot at you. If you've had a near miss, knock them out more of my cavalry. You guys stay in square. Some musketeers are around. So I'm hoping to leave some troops here as a bit of a rear guard. But most of them do need to go help this flank. You guys aren't firing, so that's kind of a shame. You guys both deploy into square because those camels are coming after you. Get my infantry over to the center. You guys, hopefully these guys maintain the square while my guardsmen get in. I want these guys to form up. Maintain the square. It's both the camels gone. Hit the Kizilbashi. Those guys are going to hopefully break that unit of Kizilbashi. You guys charge in, surround and destroy that unit of Kizilbashi. Two units of infantry here will be more than enough to deal with that infantry unit there. Storm, storm, storm. They're broken, so bring that cavalry back into formation. You guys attack the levee. Okay, yeah, that unit of Kizilbashi have been destroyed. Let's kill a bunch of them because we've charged from the rear, because we may as well make sure they rout then form the line. It looks like the bulk of the... Oh no, okay, right. No, 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 no. Artillery. Focus fire on these reinforcing troops. Could we do have two units? You have a unit of Kuzobashi and a Desert Warrior. This unit bombard that unit of Desert Warriors coming in. Okay, General's bodyguards going in after that misclick. So is that unit there. So let's let's maybe reform a bit differently. some cavalry to harass the enemy as they rout. Get you guys to form more of a coherent line. Can you guys blast the desert warriors. Let's get the Gurkhas to do a bit of a flank. Let's get the Curassier to go around the right. How it says work on the 24th order, the other one carry on working on these guys, especially the ones going around the flank. Go get them, Gurkhas. You guys hold fire. They might get one volley off before my Gurkhas arrive, but when they do, my Gurkhas are going to tear him a new one. Hoorah! fire coming in. You pick new targets. Yeah, there we go. They got destroyed camel gunners, eh? So you work on the camel gunners. You men form line next to these guns. I'm 
my howitzers largely firing. that unit of musketeers so my left flank is looking a bit weak especially as it looks like some of my guns don't work so here comes some um, camel gunners blast them with canister shot good so they've fired. You guys now attack the unit coming in behind them. To be honest. So they've been routed. Pivot the gunners. Good. Quick climbs also landing there. Need to keep these ca this cavalry together, really. If you guys could route, that'd be great. <laughs> Although it looks like you guys are stuck running backwards and forwards rather than actually routing. You bombard the twentieth. Still coming in. You guys run up and pivot to expose the 27th to fire from new flanks. You guys pivot like so. You guys focus on the camel gunners. That's what these Gurkhas are going to wait for. You hit them as well. Let's bring my Curiosiers around to the right. They're charging. Counter charge with the Gurkhas. You poor fly by rank onto them. The 27th, hopefully, are not too long for this world. And then let's bring them back a bit more like this. I'm going to maximize the use of that artillery piece. Well, my Gurkhas are in. I'm curious to see how well they do. They should do okay. Oh, the gunners are still hitting them, so let's change that. <laughs> yeah, there we go, they both broke. For my own artillery fire. Bring my general across, try bring him back. Let's bring my cuirassier along. Ooh, another unit of gunners. You guys hit them with my round shot at range. Now they're coming in. Canister shot them specifically. Okay, good. We're starting to push back. Yeah, you guys are hit and exposed. Bit of a gap there. You guys form square. Good, my Gurkhas are back. You now blast the 20th. Maintain the square and you should win. Should. You guys hit the 15th. I mean, the left is just being swarmed by infantry. There we go. So you guys knock out the 15th before you work on the Israeli. Get the Gurkhas in, get my cavalry because they're going to pick apart that regiment of foot on the flank real easy. So if I get Gurkhas in there, 
my cuirassier to attack from a different direction. Can you guys focus on that? It's a really unit there. Get my cuirassiers in to break the Israeli. Get my Gurkhas on into the camel gunners. Bring my cavalry down. To pursue the Israeli. Get my cuirassier up to pursue the that unit of Israeli. Get my Gurkhas back and let these guys just. Pursue. Oh, danger close quick line, but it worked. Damn it, it worked. You guys chase down the 24th. You guys cast a shot at that unit of camel gunners. Engage them at point blank range. I think the camels... Okay, the, the edge of the map's right there. Good. Keep my general attacking the Israeli because I want to make sure they die. Let's get my cuirass... Get my Gurkhas around to attack this unit. Push it, swing the flank around. You're going to keep attacking the 24th. You guys are going to hunker down. You men attack the 11th because they've all been pushed back. Okay, good. So then you guys can start to swing around. This regiment of foot has held on heroically. They've been throwing lots and lots of troops at this problem. Some guns at the back. My Gurkhas against that Israeli unit. Get the cavalry back here. All my hearts is open up on the 7th. Let's try to run my light cavalry through the gap. You guys keep attacking there. Ah, the, the guards are finally broken. You guys focus on the 7th because you're about to get a whole load of firepower support. Yeah, there go the 11th getting gunned down by my men. So you guys hit that Israeli unit. Both my howitzers focus on the last surviving unit. Get my general over here at speed. My Cassier over here at speed. You guys chase down that unit. You guys might end up getting intercepted. So I could use these guys to try and attack the enemy artillery, but my general is more than enough to do that. Let's push up to support. You guys just cease fire. If you've got 15 men, it would be great if I could actually wipe out a couple of these units. Because they've got a lot of them, as you saw. Eleven men. Come on, you are up to the task, cavalrymen. My general's nailing it through this gap to go after their guns. You guys might get shot at, which is which will be unfortunate. These guys are gonna get mowed down by fire on the flank. Where's my Go, because you've done a great job at trying to chase these guys down, but now let my cursier do it. Fire from the flanks is going to take out that unit. I mean, they're standing their ground pretty well. A brave effort, but foolish, my old friend. There they go. Push this unit up. We'll push this wing up. 
And then my general is coming in from an opportune direction. Or my reinforcing general is coming in from an opportune direction. You men kill that foot unit. You guys help this cavalry unit kill the 30th. And there we go. You men, make sure you do kill the enemy cavalry. You guys charge the 7th, the 6th. Howitzers cease fire. To be honest, infantry cease fire. I have to do it manually because it looks like one of them's out of ammo. Yeah, that regiment of foot's out of ammo. Damn right, continue. Let's do damage. Now they're going to escape. That's unfortunate. Here comes the here comes some support artillery. Focus on the sixth. Do as much damage as possible. They go on a route. So we've got who have we got left? Macrosier against these Israeli. Nine of them left. Two left. Good. So they are going to knock out that unit. And all that's left is this unit up here, which will route imminently. Yeah, that's a bit dodgy. But that's why I try. I wanted to attack in this direction with two armies so that. God, 10,000 men. They've still got more than us. So they're going to get pushed back. Yeah, they're going to send some troops around on a spoiling expedition. I mean, an auto is all that. Undaunted. God, 600 men lost. God, the auto is all gods are a cruel, cruel mistress. So the Greece have decided to take one of the one of the trade lanes. Got letter of demands from Spain. Understandable, because you aren't really an army anymore. But. But, but, but. I can take... You, sir. Out of Brest. Let's move the militia out of Portsmouth. Get you guys aboard. Get this army. Ah, my phone. Get these guys... Embarked. New men sail to build bow. Get the sloop out of here. You guys get aboard. Disembark the army. So if this army stands outside of Madrid, swap over. So now you men can recruit a general, Olivier Bousset. And you men can recruit some reinforcements. I mean, we are going to get a one line of infantry at least. I mean, we've got space for eight. Eight units. So four, five, six, seven. Um, okay, let's throw in some... Another unit of marines and then probably a field artillery unit. Although that's probably going to come from Paris. But yes, at least Madrid is now reinforced. And Madrid itself is probably going to fill up its recruitment slots with more infantry. You, so you were on the march towards... Well, you're going to march to Marseille to knock them out once and for all. Let's repair some of these buildings. Let's build an iron comp iron mining complex. Let's take this fleet back to Brest. You guys occupy Bilbao again. Let's repair the port. You guys go back to Portsmouth. Then let's take... Well, let's begin recruiting another army. That kind of demonstrated the valuable valuable nature of having 
armies in reinforcing positions, although unfortunately they're not going to get artillery support from London. But from Edinburgh... Nope, can't recruit anything there either. Well, also two might have to do. Or I just sit here and recruit bucket loads of 12 pounders in Paris. The legacy of Napoleon lives on. Okay, let's get a brig in here. Keep on upgrading our ports because we're going to have to bring a certain amount of firepower to bear. So Caracas is there holding in case anyone tries to attack us. Or to be honest, you have two armies. Okay, so you. Gilbert Appert. Actually, let's take one of the sloops. The sloop Ramelly is out of position. So let's embark this force of the Royal Escossé. Let's get these men across to the European theatre. So we've got a fleet to the south, an army to the south, although not a complete army. Let's pick up a general. Let's get rid of that. Disband that um, native unit. Let's disband unit of infantry. Well, it's going to be horse artillery only as well to make our breach. Okay, workers on strike. Spies continue their successful missions. Ooh. Get some seconds built in Antwerp. Because you can push to attack this guy. I'd like you to swing east and hit Strasbourg, but whatever. Because you've got this army. Once it's replenished, it's going to go hit Cologne. You'd, I'd like you to hit Marseille. Hit Strasbourg, sorry. But let's go attack this small Austrian force. If we push them south, the army that's down to the south can then take care of them. Because part of my strategy was that that army in the south would be the one that does most of the mopping up. Stupid phone. Let's make sure that's not going to happen. Okay, let's leave you alone. So, small Austrian force, not great artillery positioning, positions available, maybe just ahead of this copse gives us a good position to fire, so as before we outnumber them massively, so just get around the flanks and cut them to d cut them to pieces. Actually, my light infantry doesn't need to be in skirmish mode. Because they also have some some light infantry, but we don't really... Oh, my heart says, as usual, I forgot about, but just unlimber, because we're about to... Well, we are going to storm up ahead of them. So I was a bit cautious at the start because it looks like their cavalry was. It looked like they were thinking about doing a lot more charging than they actually were. I mean, they are charging now. And yet they've changed their mind. You guys focus on the cavalry here. A lot of quick lime going in center. Obviously against their guns. So these men... They're charging, so let's not run my infantry up just yet. Uh, oh, oh no, these poor devils. 
Don't you know where you're charging? Into the jaws of death, your only provincial cavalry. Hello, irregulars. Perfect for my heavy cavalry. You men deploy into square. You guys turn your flank. There we go, you've shattered them, charge on to the next line of guerrilla mercenaries. Chasseur getting into position. So let's take you guys, form you up like so. Yeah, they're going to down a few of my cuirassiers, but this skirmish raiding force isn't going to... Okay, you guys attack the Pope Yager Sophia, you guys attack the Grenadiers behind the wall. I mean, the provincial horse unit is, is brave to try and take us on like that. Straight in. Especially as they've now drawn in a ooh, drawn in a regular infantry, well, a skirmish unit to try and take us out. Okay, you guys push up ahead of the cavalry fight. I don't want you interfering and shooting them down. Don't really need any support over here. Because Curassier are great. Yep, that's the cavalry dot gone. Chase down the well, don't chase down the irregulars, kill the irregulars. Because we are Curassier, not just any Curassier, the 40th Horse Guards. Who's that? Provincial Cav has decided to, decided to come back. Carry on. Carry on the charge. I mean, this general, this grenadier unit is going to get shot to bits. They're not going to be too successful in trying to evade. So you guys chase on the 14th regiment in the hills. This intact Curassier unit can take out the Provincial Cavalry. There we go. Charge on. The kind of unit is, is, is taking a lot of damage. Fourteenth Regiment is shattered. Great stuff. So let's take all of my guns. Tell them to stop firing. Let's take my remaining cavalry. Assuming that's all cavalry and that infantry, that's all that's cavalry as well. Okay, well then let's take... Because they're probably going to rout, they're too sufficiently far away. Let's take the remaining cavalry and chase down the units on the field. Got some sneaky sneaky skirmishes and some tougher grenadiers but I don't think they're gonna be enough because we've got bucket loads of cavalry coming to a store near you there we go good that wasn't close but let's push them back they might still do some raiding and annoying stuff um, in southern France but that's why I've got this other army down here so you guys replenish and might make your way towards Strasbourg. Ready, sir. Uh, you don't need to worry about converting most of Western Europe. To be honest, you guys, Gerald, Gerald Turenne, if I move you guys out of Amsterdam, they can get on board with that. Hmm. Attacking the cavalry force on the flank. Let's maintain that siege. 
can you guys leave? Well, not abandon Brussels, but push up. Awaiting further orders. Actually, you guys might break off the siege there. So you're slowly building up. You're getting reserves to hold the bridge. Granted, that's actually quite a small army now, so we could probably send a force to just auto it to take it out. Yeah. Forward. March. Repair the port. You guys make ready. March back towards Hanover. I don't want to leave Hanover exposed in case they drive up this way. You men replenish and let's not give you a general. Let's recruit some infantry, some more infantry. You guys replenish. Your supporting infantry can replenish. This force with just a bunch of artillery replenish. You guys all make your way over to defensive positions to the east. Because you're on your way north to deal with the marauding the marauding uh, Swedes. You guys, all that good, good stuff can go catch up with yes. Philippe de Rousset. You guys, the mountain Jaegers are going to catch up. The militia are going to run up as well. Yeah, Persia's up to up to some up to some tricks. So reinforced Spain, and they're about to get more reinforcements. Again, they're unhappy because they've got a university, so let's knock that down. Lots of these Spanish stacks have been severely damaged. So if they try to attack now, then we will actually be able to knock them back fairly easily. Down here... Let's see if you can... Ah, oh, okay. Demand the surrender. Nope. Maintain the siege because both of you guys need replenishment, so you need to stick by each other. You're going to take position on the bridge. You're going to push up behind this force there to give them some support. You're going to march down towards the river. You are going to try and take out this general. Nope. Yep, Spain's letter of demands. I'm not interested. So now we've got these armies that are ready to be brought to bear. So let's bring more firepower. Largely more firepower north. Well, to on the to the uh, Persian front. Because you guys will be needed to break through here and up into uh, the Caucasus against Sweden. These two guys are... I don't know why you don't have orders. They, can, they are making their attack through these routes. Okay, these fragments of units come down here as well. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to have a army built to defend my uh, interests here because most of I mean most of my defenses are naval but I would still need to have you know I've got some troops here but I do want to keep generating armies to send to the Middle East so let's upgrade you upgrade all these buildings to top here to Tehran has been upgraded. Purge is growing at 85 gold a turn. I mean, what's our biggest, what's our wealthiest region now? England. Oh, obviously it's London. <laughs> uh, they're a bit unhappy. It's because you've still got Cambridge as a university there. Although it looks like, well, Salamanca is not needed. Cambridge is researching abolition of slavery. I mean, we've got secular humanism. Orleans is on 
machined rifling to get me tiralier and sharpshooters. Cool. Um, okay, so I know there's some action around here I could do, but I want to really wait a turn for that to be resolved. So let's hit end turn. My army is going to continue marching on the paths that they were already on. We did have some stuff near Syria I could probably have been a bit more offensive with. But the main thing is I need to knock through Western Europe, including uh, Bavaria. So I don't know if the Austrians can actually maintain that many troops in the field. Granted, they do own Italy. There's a chance, like, well, I would need to at some point deploy two armies down into northern Italy. One advance through the Alps, one advance through the uh, the border between France and Italy and, and make war against the, the northern uh, the northern Italians, but that might be better served waiting till I've conquered the Iberian Peninsula and then I can... Oh, yes, please, because that will be a river battle. Yes. Um, so till I've taken the Iberian Peninsula so I can start to hop across the Med and capture the islands. Because right now I've got... Well, the problem is right now I've got lots of mainland terrain to occupy. I've got a bit of bit of coffee. Not a coffee guy. It's just regular instant with boiled water. Ooh, why have I deployed half over? Funky. But I'm still gonna deploy in a good old river fighting style. So because they normally cross over here, I'm going to maximise my howitzer fire on the bridge, as well as I'm going to take my more shooty, or my more melee-y troops, rather than shooty troops. So I've got two marines, three units of infantry, uh, four units of infantry, Two lights. My fusiliers. Well, they're not going to be needed because we outnumber them severely anyway. Then my bridge crossing is going to be supported by a lot of cavalry. And my general. Ooh! Oh, it's because there's going to be a scallywag attempting to uh, cross over on our side of the bridge. Very well. Well, they're not going to attempt to cross from our side of the bridge. Cavalry. Get in there. You guys form a line. Light infantry, get over here. Skirmish against the far bank. I mean, to be honest, these guys are going to get just bombed to bits by our artillery anyway. Ooh, no, 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 no. Pit, pity about the sound. So we've attacked with Crossier and Light Horse. Keep our cavalry running. See, this is a bizarre thing about how we can have pretty functional stuff. Like, pretty functional games, but then suddenly they'll just decide, nah. Make sure fire rolls off. You guys hit the horse artillery with Swiss guards up there. Ideally we can knock out the horse guards fairly quickly because you guys are probably not going to do not going to last too long against a unit of elite infantry alone. I mean these guys definitely aren't going to last. That's a cavalry unit down. Got a lot of cavalry that's not going to make it across the river. So you're holding them up. Okay, let's get you out of there. So now I can charge you guys into the back of the household cavalry, hopefully break them. And then I can let my infantry do the job. Foot Jäger Sophia are engaging our range, so let's get a set of quick climbing houses on them. 
So you just fire it, charge in the back of the house or cavalry, break them, then I can pull this whole cavalry formation back. And then you guys can advance up into a better position, fire it will on, light dragoons, light dragoons, well light dragoons, are dis some of them have dismounted, two of them have dismounted, so that's not going to do them any favours. I probably don't need this light infantry guarding the crossing. Because the Foyaga have... Well, they could cause us problems, but they're not going to. These guys are on fire at will. We've got the 7th horse artillery units charging. The horse guards, the household cavalry are back. But I do have a decisive cavalry advantage at this point. Yeah, it's really weird. Okay, so the cavalry are in. But it looks like... For the most part, lots of the Dragoons have dismounted, so let's get our cavalry in to take advantage of that. Some of our skirmishers might have been killed because they've uh, dismounted. Keep our cavalry around the flank. Our line is going to do... well, the General's been killed. You guys charge the Marines. You guys charge into those like Dragoons, I suspect. you guys can knock out those Dragoons pretty quick. Charging dismounted Dragoons, like how long are they going to last really? You guys are just trying to delay those Marines. Mount Jaeger's trying to cross. <laughs> but that's not going to work. So let's get those guys back. Get them all back. Because that is now that army killed. So it could bring my marines over, I suppose they may as well. But my light infantry, Chasseur Pied, doing an exceptional job. You guys are getting bogged down, so you might actually die. That's why I wanted my marines take position up here. We're starting to throw in more the infantry into the mix, so let's run this cavalry unit straight back through our line to draw our marines where we want them to be. These light dragoons, you guys, who are you going to engage? The expat infantry. Good stuff. The expat infantry advancing through the woods. Yep. Taking some good damage against my light infantry. They're going to have to close distance pretty aggressively if they want to uh, survive. But I don't think they're going to. Okay, these marines up here are deciding they want to be a nuisance. So send my marines in to engage, send these guys around the flank to go take them out. I think that's the last of their reinforcements, so move out my light infantry to more better engage the flank of the main body of men. So get my marines in, get my cavalry around behind them. Ah, oh, they do still have a unit trying to cross the river. Ah, oh, unit of regulars. So you guys charge into the rear of the marines. You guys charge them down. There we go, we've surrounded the marines. They've been broken and they've been annihilated. These units are attempting to get close, but they're just militia and line infantry. It's all just horses. Okay, get all my line to cease fire while my cavalry does some noble work. Oh, my marines. You, you guys just fall back. We 
most of the time it's not going to matter. Okay, let's trot you guys across. You guys chase down those Pandal. Get you guys to run past my infantry, and then attack that regiment of line. You guys mow down the Irregulars. Teach them what it means to defy the Louisiana state. But there we go, that small force has been pretty heavily damaged. And that is Austria done. Spain is going to try and recover from the <laughs> the attrition they've suffered around Madrid, but I don't think it's going to help them. They're already, well, it looks like they're going to send their um, agents on a, a f on a offensive research strategy, but that's not going to help because Salamanca is going to be destroyed. So the nearest university is Olyar. Yeah, the Spanish have realised they can't actually fight us, so their best strategy is now to raid, which is good because it gives our second army time to rebuild, which we can then draw into the fight elsewhere. Crossing, holding that northern bridge would be very useful. But I don't think it's necessarily wise to try and hold it. Okay, we definitely need more firepower in the Middle East. As well as we need to pick apart individual armies when it, where it makes sense. We also need to drive west to provide some support to Courland because it's only a matter of time before they get attacked. <laughs> right when I say it. Um, cool, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode and we're going to be drawing in this force here. I mean, we're almost on an hour and this is going to be... Sieges are always a bit drawn out. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the defence of Yelkava. Cheers everyone.